Hello everyone and welcome to another edition of Classic Leet Reviews. My name is Tony from the ClassicLeet.com Retro and Modern Video Game Podcast. And today I am going to be reviewing the Kobe Electronics Multimedia 3D Soundbar, model number CSMP88. You know, I received this soundbar in the mail today and I was very excited to try this out. I had seen soundbars before and I never had the opportunity to try one. The goal with the soundbar is to really enhance the sound without all the hassles of spending a lot of money and having to mount speakers all over the room and move them around from time to time. And let's face it, although surround sound systems are awesome, they can definitely be a hassle. So for me, as a practical gamer and movie buff, I'm attracted to the idea of a soundbar. Now, Kobe's goal is, quote, for you to enjoy a rich 3D sound without the need for costly or complicated equipment. So let's dig right into Kobe and take a look at this 3D multimedia soundbar. First of all, as far as the unboxing goes, I was very impressed with the packaging. It was simple and to the point. You had a pretty heavy box, which is usually a good sign because of the quality of the product. So I was excited to get this out of the box. It comes with a remote and batteries, instruction manual and warranty card, an AV cable, and the actual device. I found that all this was very packaged well in a safe box to prevent damage. It came with a thick manual in three different languages to help you get started and a warranty card. And for about six to ten dollars you can get a 90 day extended warranty which I thought was pretty nice. The remote is nice and simple. It has a power button, a mute button, a source button, a 3D on and off switch, and a volume up and down button. Now, as far as the actual soundbar device goes, the front panel includes a lit up display with five physical buttons that coincide with the remote, a power, source, 3D, and volume up and down. And in my mind, it's always very nice to have physical buttons on your device because you never know what's going to happen to your remote. So that was a nice feature to have the physical buttons. The lights on the front coincide with what you have selected. So if you select 3D on and off, you'll see a light go on and off. And if you click the volume button, you'll have that clue go up and down and it'll kind of uh, bounce back and forth, which is nice. On the back of the device, it includes a physical on and off switch, which is a main power, and there's kind of a standby power mode, so you can leave that switch on, and you can turn the power on and off of standby with the remote. It has a power cord and four audio in inputs, a left and right AV stereo, and two 3.5 millimeter stereo, which is great for iPods and MP3 players. And I really like that they had that feature built in so you could leave multiple devices plugged into the soundbar at once, which was really nice. You can kind of put your dock up by your TV and uh, set your iPod up there and use it for movies, games, and then also to listen to music. Now, the only thing I would have liked to have seen a little bit different is a longer power cord and maybe one digital input. I kind of had the move to the device to the right of my TV a little bit because of the short power cord. And then just with the things changing in the digital market today, it would have been nice to have a digital input, but it's definitely not necessary for this device. The speaker system has six individual satellites and an integrated subwoofer, which produces over 400 watts of combined output power. The first thing you'll notice about how this device fits into your home theater system is that it doesn't conquer it. It measures about 21 by 4 by 6. That's a rough, a rough measurement, and it fits really nice into your home theater system. I've seen some sound bars that are too long or too large, and they just they block the TV in some ways, or they just don't fit on a TV stand. Well, you're not going to find it with this device, and especially with the integrative subwoofer, there's no extra cords or mess around of components around your TV, which is really nice about this device. There's only one AV input, but I was actually to out, able to output from my TV main audio into the soundbar and so I was able to use it in conjunction with my TV sound which is a nice feature but even if you have to unhook it and hook multiple devices to it it really is easy because of the accessibility of the inputs so I thought that was a really nice feature as far as this 3D sound feature it comes from a company named Sonic Emotion and they actually create 3D sound that's supposed to be a real treat to your ears and give you kinda of like that movie experience at home and I watched Star Trek on Netflix um, with this device hooked up and it made me feel like I was back in the theater and the amazing rich sound just drew me into the experience. So I was very impressed with this 3D feature. 
when I turned 3D off, it just felt like enhanced sound from my TV, but when I turned it on, it really felt like this warm experience that was drawing you in to the movie or game you were playing, which is really nice for gamers and movie buffs looking for a rich sound. Now this is not your super expensive 7.1 surround sound system, and it's not meant to be. This device set out to capture the hearts of movie buffs and gamers who don't want to break the bank. You can get this device for anywhere from $100 to $150 depending on where you look, and the sound quality that you get from it is worth every penny. I would have liked to see a digital input, maybe some equalization options, but those things seem to be unnecessary after testing the device. You know, if you're in the market for a great sound bar that produces high quality 3D sound, but won't break the bank, give the Kobe 3D soundbar a shot. I don't think you'll be disappointed.